Hi everyone, um, I ended up waking up with a bit of cold, so um, I'm going to give you a little bit of information for today. So for those of you that are done with your sketchbook construction, you can start to move on to your cover design. So um, for today we're going to be looking at um, a little bit of introduction information. I want to go over some of the rubric and some examples for you, and then get you started on sketch three. So um, first thing is going to be... Um, with the rubric. Um, some of these parts we've already done. Some of them are going to be ones that you focus on with the cover design. So Stretch and Explore, we already did this segment. This was the one looking at alcohol markers. Understand Art Worlds was the artist reflection in Schoology. Um, and Vision will be kind of a continuous one that we do throughout the unit. Looking at any of the planning and sketchbook entries we do. And then the sketchbook construction, the sort of in the binding and construction that we've talked about. So. Um, just with those, make sure that you are getting the um, Search and Explore, Understand Art Worlds finished up. Those will be those segments in that Unit 1 summative grade, so make sure that you are taking care of those if you haven't yet. Um, and then the Envision, that's those planning and sketchbook entries. So if you're not doing those yet, make sure that you are continuing to do those and getting caught up. Um, for the cover design, um, it's going to be kind of three project specific criteria. Um, first one is going to be style through text. So thinking of how to communicate personal style, personal interest. Um, text can be things such as name, initials, quotes, lyrics, um, really wide ranging on this. Um, the overall intention with that text should be communicating meaning and personal style within your covers. And then the um, style and placement should be considered quite a bit. So thinking of where you're placing that text, how it relates to the imagery that you include with your covers. Um, think of that balance, think of that unification in those covers. Um, and then that'll bring us into the style through imagery with that expression. Um, so thinking of um, much imagery is chosen, um, thinking of communicating again, meaning and style. Um, with these, thinking of having your ideas be creative and original. Um, so thinking of original drawings, um, not just either tracing or referring to some other creation, try to have it be original for you. Um, and then the last project specific criteria is going to be looking at mixed media. So for this project, um, I'll talk about this one a little bit more when we get into um, next week when we start to get past the initial sketch. Um, mixed media, you're going to be thinking a combination of drawing and painting materials are used. Um, you're thinking as you select out these materials, thinking of um, having these enhance one another, they add to the overall appearance of your sketchbook, and then the other thing that you're thinking of with this is that all of the tan paper of your front and back cover has been addressed and or covered. So with that thinking of consideration to both subject and background, um, that your covers are fully developed and that you're not leaving either empty space or space that's not really addressed. Um, and then the last two, kind of just unit criteria that we'll look at, um, engage in persistent craftsmanship. This is looking at just growth and persistence over the unit. Um, it's also looking at um, just projects that's completed with intention, original ideas, skillful use of art materials and tools. Um, craftsmanship is going to be referring a little bit more to just supplies. Um, supplies and materials are used appropriately or maintained. Um, and respectfully handled, um, cleanup has been taken care of correctly, um, supplies have been not left out, um, and that projects have not been left out at tables either. And then the last criteria is going to be reflection. Um, this will be for this unit more at the end of the unit, but thinking of as we finish up the unit and get it submitted, um, you're going to complete a reflection thinking on um, completing that reflection, using those reflective questions, answering those um, fully, thoughtfully, and concisely. Um, the other component that with this is just as you work throughout the unit seeking feedback from peers and myself, um, thinking of how to use the feedback to impact our visions and how that impacts the final work. 
So um, to just give you a couple visuals of what this can look like, really wide ranging as far as um, since you're looking at personal style, imagery is really up to you. Um, one of the big things that you want to look at is, um, again, thinking of that unity between front and back covers, thinking of that balance between those two sides, um, thinking of overall connection between that front and back, um, and then also thinking on that combination of both text and imagery and figuring out a balance that works for you and your personal style. So some of these are a little bit more text heavy, some are a little bit more minimal. Um, there's really no right or wrong way to do that. Um, this is a nice example too where if you don't want a ton of text you can also think of hiding it within the design or having it be a smaller component. So that is an option but with these um, you know start to consider that mixed media component start to consider which materials you might want to use um, but the main focus for today as you start to plan is thinking on that balance and the selection of imagery and text you want to include with your covers so um for sketch three um just a couple of reminders for you um, with this, you're going to be thinking of brainstorming sketching out possible designs for your covers um if you are don't have a specific idea in mind, I would say sketch out a couple ideas in a smaller area first and then develop a larger sketch once you feel like you're happy with something. Um, with the brainstorm and with the design, um, kind of the three questions or the three prompts to consider is going to be how can you communicate that personal style and meaning through text, how can you communicate personal style through imagery, and then um, as you are developing your ideas, I would say just keep it in the back of your mind. Um, with those, you're going to use at least two materials. Think on which materials you would like to use. Think of what's going to help emphasize your overall design um, and what's going to show some of that personal style. So um, that'll be it for today. Um, if you haven't finished your sketchbook instruction, I would say get that done sooner than later. Um, if you haven't finished that up yet, you are starting to get a little bit behind, so I would say do what you can to get caught up today. Um, otherwise, um, if you have other work that you need to work on today and you get sketch three pretty much finished up, um, I would say look at that. Otherwise, if you get sketch three finished up and you're ready to move on, um, you can start to bring that sketch three over to your covers and start to move that onto the, the covers themselves. But that'll be it for today. Um, hopefully I'll see you on Monday after I get rested up, but you are good to go. Thank you.